the 411. Who's got the 411? We got the 411. Recently, there's been a judgment in the Eric Garner chokehold case by NYPD. It has been deemed a homicide by the coroner. It's very serious, and now it opens up the floodgates in terms of uh, the, the wife, the widow of Eric Garner, now looking for. Uh, you know, the kind of justice that she was asking for in terms of an arrest record, or arrest rather, with the uh, officer responsible for that chokehold, and now it opens up an opportunity for a civil lawsuit, and it's going to be major. I mean, this is, this is going to be really something to pay attention to. The saddest part is there have been three more chokehold victims since this uh, death of Eric Garner in, in Staten Island. I don't know what the mayor and, and police, Bratton, police chief Bratton are thinking, but they've got to make some serious changes quickly. This is bad. I mean, it's, it's horrible for the New York City Police Department, but they've run the city with, with no execution. Like, they've run it, they're the jury, the, like you said, the judge, the jury, and the executioner. Like, I was walking down the street in Harlem today, and they just ran a red light for no reason, which only shows, what only goes to show what kind of extent of power they really have and how, how they really don't care about the people. A lot of times they abuse their power, yeah. and that's so sad. They're supposed to be working to serve and protect the citizens of you know um, New York City no question. and they're not supposed to instill fear in us we're supposed to look to them for guidance and help and and all of that but they're just really abusing their power and I really feel like there should be some checks and balances and someone needs to pay for the death of Eric Garner. No question about it. This isn't the first time that this has occurred though if you guys look at the Spike Lee film Do the Right, right Thing there. in 1986 he actually showed a part where I believe the main character was Radio Rahim, where he actually mm -hmm. gets choked. Right. And to see that happening in a movie in 1986 and it's still happening now, 2014, it's disgusting. It yeah, really it's is. It really is. Very and the, the sad part is the NYPD tried, and I know we talked about this before, they right. tried to actually extend some PR goodwill by putting out their social media social media package, which bounced, uh, backfired on them mm -hmm. because they started getting all of these hits back from people from the Occupy uh, situation where they right. were having all this police brutality. It's really bad. I think, unfortunately, the mayor and, and the police chief have been a little too easy with the lip service about retraining. These guys need to be right. sanctioned immediately. Off the job, give me a gun in your badge, and you're not getting paid. These guys got to get off the payroll. And then in cases like this, where there's obviously a homicide uh, in question, these guys need to be up on, on trial for murder, if that's the case. Exactly. Very true. Yeah. And that's the only thing I think that's going to change it. Exactly. They got the 411. Who's got the 411? We got the 411.